voids between the breeding colony and the ocean to collect their materials. There are already solitary eggs in the nest. The pairs take turns brooding and searching for food. A snow-free exposed area is a showground for displays by giant petrels. This is not always a friendly affair. We arrive at Brown Bluff and tread on Antarctic ground. Surprised by a heavy snowstorm, we are greeted by our friends, the Gentoo penguins. We accept the weather conditions with the same nonchalance as the penguins. About 75 centimeters high and 5 to 7 kilos in weight, the Gentoo penguins have a life expectancy of about 10 years. In the northern habitats, the breeding begins in early spring. Here in the Antarctic Peninsula, it is delayed. This penguin patiently keeps its valuable egg warm. A veritable penguin highway to the ocean has been established down the cliffs of the Antarctic Peninsula. but it is in small groups that they dive into the icy sea. Krill, as well as benthic fish, are hunted along the coastline. A zodiac trip is always an adventure. We have only traveled a few hundred meters when we are faced with drift ice. Although this makes it harder to get through the ice, we gently approach a crab-eater seal. In spite of their name, the crab-eaters don't feed off crabs, but mainly krill. Their dentition is finely attuned to this diet. Serrated and twisted teeth strain the krill from the water. Port Lockroy is only occupied in the Antarctic summer and finances itself mainly from the sale of goods in the shop. The effect of tourists on penguins is also being examined here. So far, no negative effects have been discovered, which is clearly because of visitors' strict adherence of codes of behavior. At the same time, the station is also a local history museum in the middle of the gigantic icy mountains.
At the end of the journey, we reach the southernmost point of South America, Cape Horn. An old lighthouse and a small chapel await us. Since its discovery in late 1616, more than 15,000 mariners have lost their lives off the stormy Cape. The contours of an albatross stand as a memorial to those who have remained at sea. I am the albatross that awaits you at the end of the earth. I am the forgotten soul of the dead sailors who crossed Cape Horn from all the seas in the world. They did not die in the furious surf, but fly on my wings to eternity in the crevice of the Antarctic winds.